Now here's the wood miser. This is uh, one of our first purchases going off grid. And um, first time we're using it. And we've had it for a week or two. <laughs> Took a while to put together because it does not come together. So Steve had to build the base for it to make it even. And going through all that work. And then we're finding that there is snafus because there isn't there's one bar in the center if you see that look at the silver bar that holds the wood that's it now there should be something that keeps it even and steady here's trying to start the miser it gives us a little bit of a resistance but he does get it going and there it goes so now you're going by eye to see the depth that you want. Now, of course, you can use a tape measure. But right now, he's just taking off the top. Did you know it takes a year to dry out a two-inch board? See, we didn't know that. Not something they tell you when you buy the mill. But a log would take like eight years. taking off his little reward. Look at his face. He's so excited. Very smooth, he says. And now he's going to go back for another cut. Make it a little deeper. Now we're having the obvious problems of one end is smaller than the other, so it's keeping it even on the board. And there is no contraptions to keep your board except for that one metal piece still in your log somebody's going to run it down another path and this one will be better and I think it's practice makes perfect on this thing but I think it's a fun tool and I think he's going to have fun using it it really, you're just walking it down. It's not, you know, pushing it. It's very easy. Cuts very nice. The more he cuts, the happier he gets. <laughs> now I'll make it his next piece of wood, which you can see he's tickled pink. He's very excited about the colors in the wood and how smooth they are. Of course, now he's got a thin piece of wood, but you know he'll use it. Nothing goes to waste. Let's see how easy it just pulls back. It's actually a great tool once we figure out how to get the precision going. It should have came with a little man on the box to tell you how to do it. Because <laughs> you're really, seriously, building this thing from scratch. Putting it together. And the board actually flips. And the uh, little piece in the middle there just lets go. So he has to straighten it out. And Miser, I think you should have sent a little man in the box. Now the crank on the side adjusts how far down you want to go. 
painted wood. So, but I'll take you around the back so you can see how it works from the back side. But the wood is very pretty. It's too bad we didn't have some fat cedars hanging around. But there is quite a few cedars where we are. You can see the sawdust just pours out on the side. See, he's telling you he's got to make some kind of jig or something. Because <laughs> it flips. <coughs> so here we are on the back. And we'll take a pass through the back. You really can see how easy this machine is to maneuver. And there's no, the only back breaking work is there's not a little man in the box to bring you the wood. And some of these woods are so heavy. Actually, all the wood is heavy. That's an understatement. But we're gonna try a little bit more even piece of wood, but it's getting it there. We don't have something to carry it to it. And we're gonna have to figure out how to get the wood to the miser. But it definitely cuts like butter. And this is going to be a perfect little toy that is going to make me a chicken house. Because for our house, yes, we mind. We want it to be dry in season, but for the chicken house, it doesn't matter. There he is. Proud man. It's getting better and better. <laughs> So very happy with the miser. And he's going to be playing with trying to figure out how to get everything all set. <laughs> 